romance and much more from the world of romance. Here's what you'll find this week. The Warrens always survived adversity. Constance McKenzie. Ed Nelson as Michael Rossi. Mia Farrow as Allison McKenzie. Ryan O'Neill as Rodney Harrington. Barbara Parkins as Betty Anderson. Tim O'Connor as Elliot Carson. Christopher Conley as Norman Harrington. Rodney Harrington has known Allison McKenzie and loved her and turned away from her. Now, having observed her reaction to the death of Anne Howard, Rodney feels he must turn to her again to comfort her, to help her. you know she's gonna be just like my mother open popular extroverted everything you're not just about except she's gonna have blonde hair too and freckles mm -hmm. talk to me I can't. Once upon a time, you could. Once upon a time, Tim. A million years ago. Why can't you talk to me now? Because I'm... incapable. I'm incapable. Incapable of what? I want them to name her Audrey. Audrey Carson. My first thought was Zoe, because that means life. But Mother heard that she had a fit. They haven't vetoed Audrey yet, though. Allison, please. Audrey's a pretty name, don't you think? Yes, it's a pretty name. It's a very pretty name. But I want to name our first little girl, Allison. If you don't mind. Oh, sure. After you pay back your father and show your grandfather what stern stuff you're made up, and then build me a castle with a moat around it and swans in it. Sure, any time you're ready. I'll... Now. Now? I mean, right now? I love you. I feel sorry for you. No, I love you. You feel sorry for me. That's all right, Rodney. Could I feel sorry for you, too?
Dr. Allison after Rod left? I went upstairs, but she didn't want to see me either. She went to her room. I don't know what was the matter. Oh, honey, it's probably a combination of things. You know. Anne, Chris. She feels, or what she thinks she feels, about Rod. How she feels about us. And the new baby. Oh, she hurts, Ellie. She hurts so much. And I can't comfort her anymore. Well, maybe we can't comfort her anymore. Maybe, maybe we should stop trying. Maybe Allison's intuitions were right all along. And remember, she wanted to leave home and to get away from us and this town and the people she'd known since she was a little girl. Oh, I know, dear, we've fought that for so long, but the time will eventually come and we'll have to let go. And maybe this is it. Not the way she is now. She needs us now more than ever. Maybe. Maybe she does. And then again, maybe we're exactly what she doesn't need. Maybe what she needs is a complete change. You see, I remember what it was like to be trapped. To be locked in a vice. And believe me, Connie, sweetheart, it is one of the most depressing feelings in the world. You feel as though you can never get another breath again as long as you live. Those four gray walls around that prison. I swear that it looked to me as if they they moved the men at least three feet every day. That was different. Was it? Well, maybe Peyton Place is Allison's prison. Maybe we're part of those gray walls that are moving in her, closing in on her. Anyway, this depression that she's been feeling has gone on long enough. I mean, something has got to be done about it. Well, I just can't just let her go away like this. Oh, darling, I'm not saying that we have to send her away. I'm just talking, that's all. I don't know exactly what to do. I'm... I do know that we're going to have to come to some sort of a decision about it. You know, sweetheart, we... we spent an awful lot of time preparing ourselves for the new baby that's coming into our home. We... We spent very little time preparing ourselves for the time when Allison will leave it. I just hope we've prepared Allison. Oh, she'll be all right. She's been through a great deal, you know, these last two years. First of all, me. And the accident, then all this. I think she just needs time to pick up the pieces and... look them over carefully and then put them all back together again and find out where she really is and who she really is. Why is it so hard, Father? That's just the way it has to be, and that's all. I mean, some people, they can find themselves by reading Sanskrit or running a linotype machine or just uh, fixing up a budget some way. I mean, those are the juggler, that's all. It's a gift, that's what it is. They never suffer the way the people that are like Allison suffer. That doesn't mean there's anything wrong with Allison, sweetheart. It just means that Allison has a different kind of gift, and she... He hasn't yet learned how to live with it. But you know something. You know that that kind of... that kind of sensitivity is what... that kind of concern for everybody and everything is what makes the really special people in this world. And that's why I know she's going to be all right. Shouldn't we consult Mike? Yes, I think so. He knows us and he knows Allison and he knows that we trust his professional opinion. I'll talk to him today. I love you. Oh, nice, sweet. I love you, too. Very much. I'm going to talk to Allison now. I think she's had to deal with too many half-truths and too many secrets. Whatever we decide to do, she has to know when and why. 